so a lot is currently going on hey guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Miranda and this is from Miranda's Kitchen so today I am gonna do a kind of more of like a day in the life type of video I really like making videos like this because I can like really take y'all with me on like a catering trip so um this weekend today is tuesday on saturday which will be the 17th of june we are catering a wedding shower so we are getting ready for that today we have our final walk through walk through of the venue that it's going to be at it's going to be at someone's house so we're going to have the final walk through and meeting with them today we're going to be picking out all of the dishes they have all the serving trays and everything that they want to use so we're going to be picking out everything and just kind of laying out like doing like the lay of the land of how we're going to have everything set up for saturday so that's what we're doing i'm also going to be doing my meal prep client today so i'm going to bring you guys along with that for that also so come along i am currently on my way to the meeting i'm about to leave now but i'm also like doing a webinar right now through IIN, which is actually so good. I'm so glad I'm able to, I'm so glad I went to this school through this program because they have so many like just good things to help you after you graduate and everything. But this webinar specifically is about social media and leveraging social media to get health coaching clients. So yeah, I am listening to that while I'm on my way to this meeting. So come along. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna find out what I need before I finish. I mean, you know what a chore that is. Mm -hmm. So we don't need these. No, not necessarily. Uh, you might just have some, uh, maybe that like that one. Hey friends! Thanks so much for watching. So while I'm working on my meal prep client, I was mostly just chopping up some vegetables for her this day. I want to do a story time. So I told you guys in my last video that I got the great opportunity to go to Washington DC and cater Washington Mardi Gras along with Glow and my dad and that was a great opportunity for so many reasons and one of them is because of the story that I'm about to tell you guys now. So. Jessica and I left from Shreveport to go to DC and we had a layover in Atlanta. So before we left, we had some pretty crazy weather and um, we like our flight ended up getting canceled. So we were originally only supposed to be in Atlanta for maybe like 30 minutes. But since our flight got canceled and changed, we ended up being in Atlanta for like three hours. So we, since we were in Atlanta for so long, we decided to go to one of the bars at the airport and get some wine. So we go to this bar and it's actually on the complete opposite end of the airport than where we needed to be, but we wanted to go to this specific bar. So while we're there, I go to the bathroom and I just kind of unmindly grab the book that I was reading on the plane. And so I have this book in my hand and I'm walking to the bathroom. And as I'm walking to the bathroom, I see of all people, Mashama Bailey just standing in the airport. So if you guys do not know who Mashama Bailey is, she is a chef, a female chef, and a black female chef. She is all three of those things and she's wonderful. She is a trailblazer in the food industry pretty much since she stepped on the scene. She's won the James Beard Award at least two times. Um, and she's just wonderful. Um, and she is actually one of the people who inspired me to leave my career and get in the food industry. When I first was introduced to who Mashama Bailey was, it was through her Chef's Table episode on the on Netflix. And she told her story and it was wonderful about how she started in the world of mental health and then she just wasn't really finding her footing and decided to leave that and go into the food industry. And that was my exact story. I was working in mental health and you know wanted to be in the food industry so her story really helped to inspire me 
So as I'm in the airport and I see her, she sees that I notice her. And she actually walks up to me and she asked me what I was reading because I had the book in my hand that I was reading. And it was actually called The Magic of Thinking Big. And so I sit here just randomly in the airport having a conversation with Mashama Bailey about the magic of thinking big. And I go on to tell her that I know who she is and how I'm also a young chef and how much her story has inspired me. And she was so just lovely and kind to me. She poured so much light and energy into me. She, you know, just pretty much told me to keep going and to do everything that I was doing and to just keep pushing forward was her biggest message to me. So after I sat here and talked to Mashama Bailey for maybe like five or ten minutes, we got to take some pictures together. She was actually in the airport doing a book signing because she wrote a book with the guy that she owns her restaurant with. Uh, the book is called The Black, The White, and The Gray, and she was doing a book signing. So after I met Mashama Bailey, I walked back over to Jessica, and I'm like so excited, stars all in my eyes. And I tell Jessica that Mashama Bailey's over there, and so Jessica like steps over there and like goes to talk to her. And Jessica, being the wonderful person and mentor that she is, she came back with a signed copy of the book for me. And Mashama Bailey actually wrote me a little note in the book, and it was so sweet. And yeah, that was the time that I met Mashama Bailey, who is honestly one of the people who I look up to most in the food industry. Another really interesting thing about meeting Mashama Bailey was that she was on my vision board. Um, I'm going to find that vision board and try to insert a picture of it. I made that vision board, I think, in 2020. And she, I was just flipping through magazines and I saw a picture of Mashama Bailey and I put her on my vision board. And I think it's just so amazing that I actually got to meet her and to see that thing on my vision board come to fruition so that is the story of how I met Mashama Bailey it was wonderful she was so kind and yeah I'll let you guys keep watching me cut up these vegetables Things to get tomorrow, but everything's going good. 
Yeah. All right, guys. Today is the 17th. It's the day of the actual party. So a lot is <laughs> currently going on. Let's see. So here in Shreveport on Thursday, we had like a horrible thunderstorm. And I mean, like half of the city's power is out. The place where we were going to originally have the party, the person's house, they still don't have power. So we had to change locations and the house that we're going to be cooking out of now is actually smaller and the kitchen is smaller, um, but we just got to roll with what we have at this point. So that's going on. The actual party starts at 7 and we want to get there between 4.30 and 5. So right now I'm just resting. I'm probably going to take a nap here and then probably do like a little workout. All right, guys, we are on location. We are currently unloading the car. We just unloaded everything. My dad and I are here. Reggie's gonna come and his wife is actually gonna help us this go around. So we just unloaded everything. My dad is getting the last couple of things out of the car and we're about to start setting up. I'm actually really hungry right now, so I might leave and go get some food for myself. But besides that, everything is going good right now. So let me show y'all inside. like a whole bunch of content from the actual party because obviously like I was using my hands and um I don't want my dad to fire me so I didn't get like a whole bunch of content but yesterday went so well I love when parties go well and smoothly everybody raved about all of the food everything came out so so good um, I think I'm gonna start interviewing people and asking them about their experience with us and how the food is at the actual event so you guys can like hear a loud review. Um, but everything went really good and like I said, everybody raved about everything. So that's really good. Um, I just wanted to come on really quick and say goodbye and thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and like this video and comment if you want more content like this. I'll see you next one. Thank you.